What's your impre first impressions of the place? It's been a lot of fun. Uh, first like week or so on campus, I was just trying to figure out like where my classes were at, um, what's the most efficient way to get from place to place. But so far that I've been down here, I've just been spending a lot of my time here, um, trying to learn the playbook, different type of stuff like that, and just kind of watch the older guys because they've been here before. They know how um, the coaches like things done, and I'm just trying to be a sponge and soak up as much information as I can. How do you kind of approach being the, the new quarterback in that room? Uh, I just got to approach it like, like I always have. Um, obviously, I want to go in and compete and, and push everybody around me to get better because that's how um, we're going to win football games, and that's how we're going to want to, we're going to be the team we want to be is when everybody's pushing the person to the right and the person to their left to being the best possible player they can be. Um, but obviously, the older guys, the people that have been here, I'm going to ask them as many questions as I can, just be in their ear and learn as much from them as I can because obviously they have some years on me. As far as on-field success goes, obviously K-State coming off of a Big 12 championship, does that kind of motivate you to even try and work harder this offseason? I know you weren't here, but just kind of does that motivate you? 100%. Uh, now that K-State is the Big 12 champs from last year, we have a target on our back. So going into any game, we're going to get every team's best. Um, so definitely, I think it, we, everybody on the team is going to have to work 10 times harder this year than they did last year to be able to main, maintain that um, high status. It's kind of weird for you. Normally, you're playing basketball at this time uh, that you're you're here now, and it's pretty much all football. Or is it kind of a strange feeling? Or for sure, I feel like I just always went for in front, into one sport from the next. If it was football to basketball, basketball to baseball. So now just being able to focus on football 365 days out of a year um, is definitely going to help me and benefit me and hopefully it can take me to the next level. Avery, what would you like Kansas State fans to know about you? Just know that me coming in here, you're getting a, a hard worker and you're getting a competitor and you're getting a winner. Um, and everything I've done, I've always wanted to win. I've always liked to compete. And you're always going to get 100% uh, my best day in and day out. So um, that's what I want the fans to know. What are your goals by the time you leave Kansas State? A lot of winning. Um, I, I, I have like personal goals, but to be honest, like. The team goals are mean more to me than any personal goal could be, whether that's winning a Big 12, um, playing for a national championship, any t different type of stuff like that. Um, I, just like to, I just like to play football, and I like to win football games. What did you learn most about yourself during your football journey? Um, that's a good question. Really, growing up through, through football is um, football really teaches you a lot of lessons. It, it humbles you, and it, and it definitely um, makes you into a better person. It's not just um, going in and playing on, on Friday or Saturday or Sunday, whatever level you're playing at. It definitely teaches you how to overcome challenges, um, how to work through through different challenges and stuff like that, and, and how to work with people around you. So um, it's not just it's not just teaching me lessons on the football field, it's teaching me life lessons as well. Avery, you mentioned that you were studying the playbook. I'm curious as to the fact that you've seen a lot of K-State football. Has that helped you in, in that in any way or no? For scheme-wise, yes. I feel like um, when you get to any level, that's one thing that's never going to change is schemes. Um, a stick concept will always be a stick concept and different type of stuff like that. So um, scheming-wise, from Little League all the way up to the NFL, those will, those will always be the same. But definitely watching them play last year has helped in, in little bits. But now it's like putting signals to plays, putting names to plays, different type of stuff like that. And this is as big of a playbook as I've ever worked for. So um, it definitely takes time out of each and every one of my days to, to be able to learn that. And, and because I want to master it by the time, um, not by the time the season comes around and, and know enough of it by the time the spring comes around that I'm confident um, in my play uh, during the spring game.